out. The fire is out. Good for them. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is KV, and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. We're going to be continuing episode three. Hell is empty. <laughs> oh my gosh. How has that truck not just been immediately pulled over? Like, the license plate is cockeyed. It's like dangling off the front, and there's none on the back. The vehicle is not legal. <laughs> Obviously does not have a driver's license. Pay attention to the road. How are you gonna get mad at the truck? At the other guy? Wow. Look at all the damage y'all caused. So much destruction. All because Rachel got angry at her dad, who's been lying to her all her life, and he still... I mean, that doesn't justify her burning down hey, an entire forest. Being a dad's tough. Oh that god, you're losing your mind. Done. I'm just saying, I'd probably do anything to keep you safe. Like, she's not even dreaming. <laughs> dad? <laughs> Yeah? Did you ever lie to me? I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for mom wasn't a piece of crap. I mean, like, really lied about something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? I don't- I just don't know. I suppose everyone lies. I think you didn't. I think he didn't. What purpose would he have? I think you didn't. You didn't have to. You didn't. Right? Would you love me less? Depends what it was. Of course not. Maybe a little. I mean, he's still your dad. Of course not. And I don't- pretty sure, <sighs> sweetheart. You were pretty sure Mom would never fall in love with someone like David, too. Are you really ready to hear the answer to your question? Yes, I'm ready. Ready as I'll ever be. Problem is, I'm dead. <laughs> so how am I supposed to tell you anything? Wow. Wow, that's comforting. God, she's losing her mind. It's better this way. I wish you'd told me. I wish you'd told me. When you could have. You don't like the perfect relationship we had? I wish you'd lived long enough for us to fuck it up. Oh. That's sad. She's also still going crazy. And how is that song always on? No <laughs> word. My ride, my tunes. <laughs> she looks so into it. Is she still using a screwdriver as a key? <laughs> What trash! I'm seriously going in to face Demon Merrick. All for Rachel. Am I crazy? Hella crazy. I'm glad you're here, Dad. You don't want me to go? No. I like the company. Besides, we don't want to miss this. Things are about to get real. Jesus. Crazy! <laughs> You know you're crazy when the ghost of your father that you've been seeing calls you crazy. <laughs> wow. 
Good job. How'd she get there in the beginning of the Shit. game? She didn't have a car. Is that blood? Oh yeah, he probably fucked them up. He had a knife. Frank? Frank! Shit, this is bad. I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. Deer <laughs> or like the mounted, yeah. <laughs> Gross. Where the hell is Sarah? You look at the freaking eyes. Oh god, good. I can interact with it though. Ah. Where's the homicidal drug dealer, spooky deer head? <laughs> That's look at its eye. The all knowing eye. Okay. Ah, how? Really? I'm like, it's this chair again. I'm always stuck on the chair. It's over there. God, yeah, uh, let's take that. <laughs> a knife might not be a bad idea. Never Since, uh, thought I'd have to say that. He's crazy. Oh my god, I thought. A knife. Yeah, dude's crazy, so. <clears throat> not saying I would use it. I'm just. What? That glowing eyeball. <laughs> not saying I would use it. I am saying it's not a bad idea to have. Sheldon, you gotta believe me. I'm not a snitch. Who the fuck told you that? Ooh. Remember us how we, uh. Remember us how we, uh. We said he was the snitch. <laughs> this is some creepy ass music. Frank's couch is toast. Was it actually Frank's couch or was it, you know, the Mills couch that Frank sat on that one time? Everything's going to be just fine. Just a little longer, and all your troubles are going bye-bye. Oh my god! What the fuck? I just want to meet my daughter. Can't you understand? Why does your he- Your daughter? <laughs> Jesus. So that's what he's worried about. Can't let the public know. The mother of his daughter. Some junkie. I just want to see her. You don't have to shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture, so that's what's going to happen. This is so messed up. Oh my god. After all, no one believes a junkie. No. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. Oh my god, stop him! Don't You can do He's this. gonna like fucking force her to get high. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? I've got your money. I've got your money right here. The money James owes you? How the fuck do you run? No one has to know. Just, just let her go, and I won't say. <sighs> All right, motherfucker. <laughs> no, I hate this guy. Talk I hate him. Over. Leave her alone. Shut up. What the fuck? You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just... trying to help. Get away from- What a psycho. 
I said shut the fuck up! Oh my god! Go to your fucking happy place. Run. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now. Maybe I should have used the knife. <laughs> what do I do with Damon? What did you do? Ho 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 I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this. Girl, thing. get up. <laughs> that adrenaline should have kicked in by now. Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sarah. Oh, she's stunned. Rachel. Your daughter. She... Wow. Sarah? Okay, are you like dreaming now? Chloe Price. Or is this like later? We're gonna say where's Frank. <sighs> where's Frank? Or, or Damon? Your friend, Frank, took care of Damon. You don't need to worry about them right now. Wait, so is this real? Sit. <laughs> Sarah, are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. Well, I'm addicted to heroin again. <laughs> I am so, so sorry for Rachel. Can never know. You need help. <laughs> I, I think you need help. Let me, let me call someone. Or something. I need you to listen. What James did. Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with... <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that... Rachel... Can never know. Ugh, well, why are you dumb? I'll say that's bullshit. That's bullshit, Sarah. You're not listening. Rachel deserves to know what happened to you. No, she doesn't. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar. James <laughs> is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here. And you'll take that away from her. Forever. Don't you think the truth matters more? The truth? What's so great about the truth, Chloe? Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. Uh, I hate this conversation. <laughs> uh, my god. I'm so tired of these people being like, you can't tell her, Rachel, you can't tell her. Uh, everybody's broken. Everybody's broken, Sarah. Oh? Does everybody abandon their own child for 15 years? Well, you're not the only one. Does everybody take money to stay away? You're not. Not everybody's so lucky. <laughs> you're here now. That's what matters. What do you know? I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. I lost my father. I lost my father. I feel like the best friend wouldn't be. years ago. Oh, Hi. God. <laughs> she looks crazy. He was... 
He was picking up my mother from the grocery store, and a truck ran a red light, and that was it. I'm sorry. But that doesn't change my mind. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. You quit for a year. I read your letter to James. You beat this before. You can beat it again. No. I can't. Wow. I, I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... Uh, maybe I should have told Rachel needs you. you could know I don't feel like she cares. Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented. And she feels so much. She's so strong. She's literally you. She's had a good life. <laughs> Raised in a loving home, given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. They're far from perfect. I thought my dad was perfect. They're far Even from perfect? Even without all this shit, the Ambers are far from perfect. James is an elitist asshole and... And Rose lets him walk all over her. Maybe. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <laughs> he doesn't it's deserve- It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Then let her decide. <laughs> Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? Remember your letter, I can't lie to her. Don't you want to see her? Well, I don't really care if she wants to see her or not. I think, remember your letter or I can't lie to her. I feel like I need to make it more about her and less about Chloe. The worst mistake you ever made was giving Rachel up. That's what you said in your letter to her. You read that. You don't have to make the same mistake twice. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. So, and? But there's okay. one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide. <clears throat> is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. So please, tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me. Wait. I've always really hated the idea of like all this entire story has been around protecting Rachel and you know making sure she doesn't get hurt and blah 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 and it's like she's seven, 16, 17 years old 
You know what I mean? Like, especially now that she knows, you know, about Sarah. She And she knows that Chloe was, was doing something. I don't know. I, I don't know. Give her Rachel's bracelet. I don't feel like that's... I don't know. Don't leave. I'll take care of her. Give her Rachel's bracelet. Here. Rachel gave this to me. She said she's had it her whole life. Since she was a baby. I... I gave it to her. She'd want you to have it. Thank you. I, I don't think that's Chloe. true. But I don't want to be like, I'll take care of her. God, what a piece of shit. I mean, obviously. God, that's so stupid. Don't tell Rachel. Rachel, hide it from her. So, okay, I have this entire huge secret that can literally crush her friendship with her if she ever finds out. Yeah, let's do that. I don't think that's healthy at all. Like, I'm absolutely not going to do that. Hello? Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. Like, I think James need to say, needs to say something to... I don't necessarily think Chloe should be the one to say something, but Chloe absolutely should not hide it from I her. I she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later? Yeah, that's fine. Hey. Can I talk to you? <laughs> Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute? Okay, sweetie. We'll be right outside. This is ridiculous. How are you feeling? <laughs> like I got stabbed. <laughs> wow. Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Fuck yeah. We never actually escaped. Did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So, how did everything go? Rachel, I've got to tell you something. Uh, tell Rachel everything. <laughs> if those are my only two options. I just, I've kind of already explained my answer, but I absolutely just do not think, mm -mm. <laughs> I've already said what I was going to say, but it's just absolutely stupid. <laughs> this whole thing is just dumb. I think the conversation that Chloe had with her father was important where she said like, well, would, where he asked, would you love me less? And she said, of course not. Oh my God. For a second, I was like, what's going on? <laughs> Like his relationship with his best friends all messed up or over. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I could be friends with someone that stabbed me.
this is like the only happy storyline. <laughs> All those dead ass flowers. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing she he got her a new <laughs> new bouquet. Ew, don't look all disgusted. Jesus Christ, at least someone's had a good day. Ew, look at this psycho. Oh shit, is he all he got kicked out of school? That kind of sucks. God, and I feel so bad for him because he's like not gonna be able to play football or whatever. I guess I like gave her good advice, right? <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll never know unless I play this again. <laughs> that was about. See, they're still friends. <laughs> oh, I'm guessing since... I'm guessing since Chloe told Rachel everything, James wouldn't have talked to... Then how does she get back into the school? does not add up. <laughs> and how's that forest grow back in time? <laughs> oh, hey! She does get to meet her mom. That's good. So, like, how'd that forest grow back so fast? Trees take years. <laughs> it was a happy ending after all. Chloe Price has emerged. <laughs> Oh wow, really? 51% of people are assholes. Because <laughs> most people did not tell her the truth. Wow, that's crazy. Oh my god, <laughs> you killed the plant with soda? No! <laughs> or I killed, well, it's, I guess it's better than with neglect, right? 90% of people accepted David Soto, that's good. You didn't have Drew's money at the start of the day. 61%. Oh. You, oh, wow. Fi you could keep it? That's fucked up. Wow. Um, you visited the Norse at the hospital. You, sp you sparred with Drew over pudding. I mean, I could have, um, stayed and talked more, but I don't know. I just wanted to, like, continue. You didn't donate to the firefighters. I didn't have any money. <laughs> Or it didn't give me the option. I remember looking at it. 
Whatever. You convinced Damon that Sheldon was the snitch. Okay, so that was 52% of people, so... Most people thought it was him. Boom! Rachel met her mother! Oh, that must be because... Well, I don't know why. Because, like, if 49% of the people told her the, told her the truth, 49% would still be able to, like, get her to meet the mother if that was the case. I wonder if whenever talking to her, like, depending on what you do or say, she comes back or not. Haha, -ha, I, I got the ending where she met her mother. Suck it. <laughs> Why is she being so aggressive? Like, sit still. That, of course, is um, foreshadowing if you've never played the first game or a reference to the first game. If Either way, I guess it's a reference to the first game, but um, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. This is technically the end of Life is Strange Before the Storm. However, I do we do have the bonus episode, which I will continue with next time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up to let me know. Subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every week, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Thank you.